been a while. Uh, <laughs> so, one in one Dalmatians, two Patches London Adventure. Oh, this movie is, um, well, we'll get into it. The story. Kind of, sort of, a rehash of the first one. But also kind of throws in the side of, like, Patch, one of the original puppies from the actual litter of Pongo. He is sort of feeling lost in the shuffle, and he, like, runs off to meet his... Well, he doesn't run off. He gets left behind, I guess you could say, by accident. Which is understandable, because we have, like, 99 Dalmatian puppies to keep track of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so he runs off after being sort of left behind to visit his hero, Thunderbolt. I, I guess that's a name, maybe? <laughs> um, but it does kind of tie into the show they were watching in the first one, which I kind of like that. I gets a thumbs up from me. That's kind of like a cool callback to that scene where we're first really introduced to the puppies, and, uh, yeah, and then Corolla Veil breaks, gets, like, released from prison, I guess, <laughs> and she meets this artist who just, like, paints, like, this circle, like, spot, I guess, and this white art easel. Or whatever, and she just like becomes like obsessed with it. <laughs> uh, and I love that. I love the scenes with Corella Deville and the artist. But this obsession leads her to come up with a brilliant idea of just make the art easels paper out of uh, Dalmatian skins, which the artist doesn't like. But hey, Corella Deville does, and then she hires. Jasper and Horace from the uh, first movie, the two criminals that work for in the first movie, and they steal all the puppies from the uh, Dalmatian farm. And, uh, yeah, actually, I don't really have a problem with the story. It's pretty good, honestly. For it. It's a 101 Dalmatian sequel, so pretty good is a high compliment. <laughs> No, I, I don't have a problem with this story. Uh, yeah. So, moving on next to characters. To be honest, I like the characters in this movie. <laughs> uh, pretty much everybody is voiced. Everybody's voice actors and actresses did a great job. Um, so that's a plus. Uh, the villains are, well, rememberable, of course. They were rememberable in the first one. They're probably the best characters in the movie. I do like how, like, Thunderbolt or whatever is, like, this massive egoist, and he's just, like, failing <laughs> at trying to actually act the part of his character in the show, the big hero dog, and he's just terrible at it, and he actually ca just causes more trouble as him and Patch try to, like, figure everything out. <laughs> try to recreate the show. I am drinking coffee, by the way. That's good. I just finished off the cup. Oh well. Moving on. Um, Pongo and Pedita are perfect. Oh, I don't have any problems with the characters. The ones that come back from the original movie are perfect. The new ones are <laughs> are probably some of the most interesting. To be honest, like that artist just oh, he's a. 
He's hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, that's characters. Let's, uh, move on to, uh, animation next, I guess. Yeah, we're moving on to animation. Well, the animation isn't the best. <laughs> I mean, it's a direct-to-DVD sequel. So, yeah. I hate those. Well, most of them anyway, but this one's probably one of the better direct-to-DVD sequels that Disney did. Um, the animation's not bad, it's just and kind of average like here's it and here's like Lion King or something just like and uh, then there's something like I don't know all 3D animation <laughs> uh no I'm just kidding <laughs> um not bad not great just you know in the middle there just um character animation is good the backgrounds good lighting's good whatever you know it's just it's not the best obviously but for a directed dvd sequel it's a lot better than i was expecting <laughs> i haven't seen it in a while and i don't remember much about it so that's why I watched it recently for this review like I always do can't wait till I get that movie that's really bad that I have to watch before I go into a review uh yeah so animations average and I think uh there's not really anything to talk about as far as music goes not really it's fine it serves its purpose I'm not going to give it its own category in the video because that's pretty much how I would describe it even then in a, its own category in a video. The music's just fine, average like the animation, so well, I guess we're ready to move on to rating. Uh, well, let's see, what will I rate this? Three. Three out of five. Thumbs up. It's just slightly above average, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. Three out of five. Thumbs up. So, yeah. If you have a chance to, like, find it somewhere get it, check it out, you find it on a streaming service, whatever, watch it, it's not terrible, it's a decent movie, it's above average, so, um, if you like the first movie, you're going to like this one, and honestly, I say this is a good movie to show your kids, or whatever, or just have a family night and watch it, so, yeah, um, that's the rating. Three out of five. So, yeah. If you like this video, first of all, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. And give yourselves a big thumbs up. And bye.